How's it going, everybody? It's Warren, and welcome to part one of a two-part scoop by Mikey Sutton with me and Lords of the Long Box. And today we have a very awesome scoop. One that I've personally been waiting to hear for a very long time. We have a character coming to the MCU who is one of the strongest characters ever written for Marvel Comics and could quite possibly be the strongest character, if you exclude all the godlike characters. You've most likely heard of Mikey by now, he's leaked a lot of stuff in our community. In fact, yesterday he leaked the fact that X-Men's Rogue could be coming in Captain Marvel 2. And today he has a new scoop for us, so be sure to subscribe and notifications turned on so you don't miss any of Mikey Sutton's exclusive scoops. Today we are talking about Sentry. He has the power of one million exploding suns. His name is Robert Reynolds and he will punch his way through the MCU with a world shattering impact. According to Mikey Sutton and his sources, he has heard that Marvel Studios has thought about the Sentry for the past few years, but it's just now that the talks took a serious turn. To Marvel Studios, they view the Sentry as their possible Superman. While Zack Snyder's dark version of the Man of Steel seemed ill-suited for the basic essence of the character, Kevin Feige will be freed from such conditions with the Sentry. Mikey states that currently Marvel Studios does not know where he will be introduced. However, a Disney Plus series with a budget even higher than the initial MCU streaming entries, which are already equal to their cinematic counterparts, is being discussed. The MCU is brimming with characters from the Golden, Silver, and Bronze Ages, but as for something more modern, the Sentry will fill that void. Pun intended if you know about the Sentry. There is somebody else coming to the MCU and you can jump over to Lords of the Long Box's YouTube channel to check out part 2 of the scoop. But let's break down the Sentry for those of you who may not know who he is. The Sentry is a relatively new character, he hasn't been around that long, he's only been here since 2000. But he's one of the most powerful heroes that Marvel has ever seen. He has quite a complicated backstory. He gets his powers from a super serum and the sun. When we first meet Robert Reynolds, he doesn't realize that he is the Sentry. But he drinks a serum and he gets his powers back and starts to remember who he was before. He remembers that he was once a superhero called the Sentry who fought alongside Mr. Fantastic, Spider-Man, and the Hulk. He then sets out to discover why nobody remembers him and why he forgot about his past. While talking with Mr. Fantastic, they realized what had happened. An evil being called the Void threatened Earth, but they went on to discover that the Sentry and the Void were two halves of the same person. So in order to save the world, Robert Reynolds erased his memory from the mind of nearly every person on Earth Earth, even his own. Once he regained his powers and everybody remembered him, they realized that the Void was once again threatening Earth. And Reynolds realized that he would have to make the same sacrifice again. So with the help of Mr. Fantastic and Doctor Strange, the memory of the Sentry and Robert Reynolds was once again erased from the world. Now we would eventually see Robert Reynolds again. He would appear inside the supervillain prison, The Raft. As it turns out, he voluntarily put himself in The Raft because he believed that he murdered his wife. However, the Avengers come and break him out and they learn that the villain Mastermind put a virus inside of his head that creates delusions and the existence of the Void, which is actually Reynolds' repressed persona. So Robert Reynolds, the Sentry, and the Void are actually all the same person. But since Robert Reynolds has a virus inside his head, he can't tell. Eventually, the powerful telepath and mutant Emma Frost would restore his memory and would restore the memory of him to the other heroes, but not the general public. But the Sentry returns as a hero and helps the Avengers, the Fantastic Four, and the X-Men fight. So that's a quick brief of his backstory, but the reason why Sentry appearing in the MCU is so important is because of all the stories that he is involved in. He fights with the Avengers many, many times, not to mention the Fantastic Four as well. He was in the Civil War battle between Captain America and Tony Stark, he was in the Mighty Avengers, and most importantly, he was in World War Hulk. When the Hulk had captured the most powerful superheroes on the planet, everybody called on Sentry for help. Even the President of the United States asked the Sentry to help the Earth. However, the Sentry initially refused because he believed that he would lose control and him himself would destroy the Earth. But when he found out that the Hulk had created a gladiator arena and was forcing Mr. Fantastic and Iron Man to fight each other to the death, he finally decided to step in. In an intense battle with the Hulk, he would finally revert back to his human form, Robert Reynolds, as well as the Hulk reverting back to Bruce Banner. So again, the important thing here is all of his connections. He has a deep connection to the Fantastic Four, he has a really deep connection with the Hulk, because even before his memory was erased a couple of times, he and the Hulk were best friends. He fights with the Avengers a lot, but he also fights with the Dark Avengers led by Norman Osborn. So the fact that Marvel Studios is thinking about creating a Disney Plus show for the Century means that there could be a lot of really exciting things on the way. We already know that Mark Ruffalo said that he would like to continue playing 
playing the Hulk and that he has met with Kevin Feige to talk about possible ideas. We know that the Avengers are going to eventually return and there's going to be a new Avengers team and it seems like the Dark Avengers are being set up in the MCU. And now since Marvel Studios is thinking about bringing in the Sentry, it seems like we could get everything not too long from now. But let me know what you think about the Sentry entering the MCU in his very own Disney Plus show. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe with notifications turned on so you can enter my giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox One or a PS4. I'm picking a winner at 550,000 subscribers. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.